Today the boys and I are headed up to our annual pilgrimage to Raymond James Stadium to watch Monster Jam. Usually Raymond James is home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Today it will be home to more rednecks than you can shake a stick at. It's gonna be fun. Every other person, we're sold out, we're sold out, we're sold out. And I asked him, I finally asked him, like, what, you, what is it that people are asking you for that you're sold out of? He said, ponchos, blankets, long sleeve shirts, and hoodies. So, tells you what's in demand tonight. What do you think? Monster Jam was a huge success. I don't know how many years we've been going, but it's been quite a few. It rained the entire time, which made ponchos, trash bags, blankets in high demand. You probably saw that clip where I watched person after person come up and be told that they were sold out. Now, I know for a fact that Feld Entertainment, who puts on Monster Jam, did not price their ponchos high enough. How do I know that? Because they ran out too early. It's a great example of how not to set your prices. I also ran into that this week with a new business owner and we were talking about where, how he's gonna price his product for sale to customers. And I had a hard time at first convincing him that his price has nothing to do with how much he paid for it, what his desired level of profit is. The only thing that sets your price is your customer. And if you have lots and lots of customers and you can't get to know each one, then the market sets your price. But if you offer services, and you have the opportunity to get to know each customer, then that particular customer should set your price. It has everything to do with what that customer values your service or your product at, and that's what sets your price, nothing else. The problem is a lot of companies are too lazy to get out there and know their customers or get out there and understand their market well enough to set the best price. It takes work. It's part art, it's part science, but again, it has nothing to do with your desired level of profit, your cost, or any of that stuff. See you guys tomorrow. Can we take
taken the truck to Monster Jam? We've never taken the truck to Monster Jam. The whole time we've had the truck, we've never taken it to Monster Jam. Well, we're not taking it. 